Hello all, it's your girl Tiffany, Madam Luscious Black Beauty, your poetic psychic Pisces, High Priestess, aka the light that shines like a diamond, also known as your modern day nun, one whom isn't within a coven, a convent, or a covenant. I do thank you all for listening and for watching on today. If you would be so kind, so please like, share, and subscribe, it would be greatly, greatly appreciated. This is going to be a general reading um, for the overall collective particularly of the sun moon or rising sign of Aquarius y'all excuse the area that I'm in right now I'm actually at my daughter <laughs> I'm actually at my daughter's desk this is because I'm trying to to um cook her something right now and I have her stuff set up for schooling already so this is like her desk area her bookshelf with all of her supplies and everything so this is her desk <laughs> okay so y'all excuse this it looks really girlish and um everything okay so i'm gonna be working right here for just a second okay until i get her her um her food done okay guys so um as i said this is going to be a um reading for aquarius okay now this could be a love reading this could be a relationship reading or what just whatever comes out pertaining to Aquarius right now okay guys um so I know the lighting um here is a little dim like I said I'm only in here um for a little bit while um I'm fixing my dirtiest food okay so y'all bear with me okay Okay, Spirit, please give us clear and accurate messages for the sun, moon, or rising sign of Aquarius. What's going on with the Aquarius here? So we have believe in miracles here, okay? So whatever you're dealing with, whatever you're going through, Spirit is telling you to believe in miracles, okay? Uh-oh. I've got multiple messages here, okay? Do I want to take this? Okay, you could be someone who is a boss in some type of way. You may own, you may be a business owner or something. You could be a company president, okay? The head of your household, okay? Very bossy, okay? You could be the breadwinner here, okay? But we also have the world here, okay? Um, so this is kind of out with the old, in with the new type of energy here. This costs about regeneration, rejuvenation type of energy, endings and new beginnings, completions of cycles, something coming to an end for something new to event, uh, um, for, for something new to begin, okay? Um, this... Um, it also can speak to some type of world be event, okay? We do have the three of swords at the bottom of the deck, okay? So you could be dealing with something, some lying, some cheating, some sorrow, some betrayal, some misery, some disappointment, some loss, okay? Affairs, uh, no love, hurt feelings in a situation, okay? Heartache and heartbreak pertaining to something in particular, okay? So, um, yeah, let's see what's going on here, guys. Spirit, please give us clear and accurate messages. What is the Aquarius dealing with? Please clarify, uh, believe in miracles, Spirit. Believe in miracles. Believe in miracles. So we're gonna try to flip over and feel something flip. Uh-oh. I feel like you've been working very hard towards something. That was like a whole group of cards that flipped over, okay? Yeah. You've been working hard towards something here. We got the devil here. Can y'all see that? We got the devil here, okay? You could have some addictive patterns of behavior when it comes to a particular situation here okay you could be chained to the devil you could be sold out to the devil okay um you could be dealing with some addiction some habits um as well here okay but you definitely got some type of ties um to some devilish sinister uh type energy okay yeah and it has to do with your family here okay so there's something very toxic um, with your family something has become um, public recognition here something that's publicly known um, 
concerning uh, 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 you, okay? There are several different things that, that is going on or has been done here. You could have several different options to choose from or you could have been a part of several different things, okay? But it has been publicly recognized. It is publicly known uh, what's going on with you and your family here, okay? Um, I feel like it could have something to do with finances, money, or resources, okay? Because um, it looks like you are now juggling and struggling um, for finances, money, and resources, um, in a situation here, okay? So we have the higher thing here, okay? You could be getting some type of assistance or of some kind from someone who is in some type of leadership position. You could even be in some type of leadership position yourself, okay? Something is giving you, we got the three of swords at this deck, uh, at the bottom of the first deck, okay? We got the three of wands at the bottom of this deck here, okay? Something that caused you some type of heartache and heartbreak is giving you the motivation and determination to move forward on something or, or pertaining to something with something, okay, guys? Hold on just a minute. Let me check on my daughter's food. Okay, guys, so let's see what else um, is going on here. Okay, so we have courthouse here. Okay, you are definitely dealing with some type of legal decisions that's going on. Something is going on in a court of law um, pertaining to something that you are dealing with. Okay, you are hoping, wishing, or dreaming for some type of miraculous miracle to take place. Okay, but there's a lot of devilish, sinister, evil, wicked that is tied to whatever legal situation that this is that's going on here okay we have official person here okay so uh someone in power someone in authority has uh, uh publicly uh, you know whatever has been going on with this legal situation there's someone in a, a, a who's an official person who has realized what is happening what is going on okay um within this situation here, okay? Yeah, you are a mature woman, okay? You could be an older woman here, okay? Um, there are several different things that you have done, okay? To try to get something to go in your favor here, uh, pertaining to a legal situation here. And there's an official person in power who knows what this is, who knows what is going on here in this situation, okay? You're in really in deep thought a, a lot about um, the fact that you're you're juggling and you're struggling for some type of finances, money, and resources right now, okay? I do feel like that the situation that's tied up in a court of law could have something to do with finances, money, and resources as well, okay? Um, I definitely sense you're trying to get something to go in your favor, but somebody in power, somebody in leadership, somebody in authority has sent you some type of message of concern pertaining to something, okay, um, pertaining to the situation that you're dealing with, okay, and this is what you have been worried about here, okay, this is what you have been heartbroken over, this is what has is giving you motivation and determination here, okay, I feel like someone in power um, realized that there was a theft that occurred pertaining to a situation here, which has brought a completion or an ending to a situation okay uh, and I feel like this is what has been worrying you this is what you have been concerned about okay um, yeah you you are surprised you are shocked by um, something okay that took place in the court of law here okay but like I said there was a lot of toxic a lot of toxicity tied to this legal situation that was that is going on in a court of law okay this situation has you in despair you're stressed out you're depressed okay you could even be feeling suicidal right now okay because you know that it has been publicly recognized okay by these official persons by these uh individuals like court clerks or judges or police or somebody in power um what um you try to do it, i feel like something illegal is going on yeah we even got lord here at the bottom of the deck so you're most definitely dealing with some individuals who are in the power who are in authority who are of influence in some type of way this has you in despair um regarding the situation here yeah you're in sorrow okay sorrow talks about it it also speaks to sadness you're very you're sorrowful for something that you have involved yourself in okay that that you have been a part of here spirit clarify thoughts in the two of coins here yeah we have foe here we have foe 
So a foe talks about an enemy or an opponent here. And doesn't it look like this person? You see this grand building here she's coming in and out of? I feel like that is you that has been going back and forth to court here, okay? Trying to manipulate something um, to go in your favor pertaining to some type of finances, okay? In some way, shape, form, or fashion. Yeah, you've been sitting around waiting for something to go in your favor, okay? Patiently waiting to get something, Okay, and you receive some type of message of concern from whomever this leader is, whomever this person is in power, okay, who have um, let you know that uh, uh, there has been a completion of a cycle. Something has come to an end with this world card here, okay? Um, yeah. You receive some type of consolation, okay? This talks about counsel or comfort after some type of uh, disappointing a loss or disappointment of some kind here, okay? So whatever it is that you were trying to maneuver or do within a legal situation pertaining to money, okay? It has you heartbroken, okay, um, in this situation, okay? Um, because something didn't quite go as you expected, as you planned, okay, for it to go, Um so, um, I need to actually get my other deck, okay, because this is my relationship deck, okay, and none of these cards are going to have anything to do with, um, what you're dealing with. So, we have lames playing games here. Aquarius, I feel like you got yourself involved in a situation, um, you thought that you were going to be able to, uh, manipulate or control something or get something to go in your favor the way you wanted to in a court of law, okay, um, and you and, and your counterparts, y'all, y'all went in a court of law, y'all played games to, to get something to go in your favor, okay? And, and and now you're you're surprised by something, you're shocked by something, you're in despair by something here. Spirit is saying um, that this official person has recognized, has realized that you all are codependent lovers, families, and friends who have been trotting in and out of court, okay? Trying to get some situation, Okay, to to go in your favor here, but you did so by manipulation. You did so by trickery. Okay, you did so by thievery. You did so in um, an unjust way. Okay, guys. So yeah, we got money, money hungry gold diggers here. Okay, I feel like you you were in this gold digging in energy. Okay, you wanted something for yourself. Okay. Um, you, you wanted, you desired something so bad, okay, you, you had an obsession with this, you desired something so bad that you was willing to do anything that you had to do to get it, okay, and this is the reason why the uh, foe card came out, which is an enemy, which is an opponent, you couldn't get your, you couldn't stop thinking about getting this money, getting something to go in your favor, okay, having something to go your way, okay, y'all played your role, Trotting in and out of, of court every time, um, every time uh, y'all are, are set to appear, okay? But we have to be careful who you trust because I feel like you trusted some individuals here that um, kind of got you caught up in some type of um, bind, okay? But you can't really, you can't really put it off on, you know, other people that you teamed up with to try to get away with whatever it is that you were trying to do. Um, because at the end of the day, um, there was illegal things that was going on. There was illegal things that was being done that was going on in the first place, okay? And that's what got found out, okay? So you can't really say that, oh, you know, the people that, you know, I involved or I worked with or that was supposed to help me did me wrong in some type of way because we got trickster here okay i feel like you're in this trickster energy aquarius as well as the other people that you worked with okay um something didn't go the way that y'all wanted it to go okay um and i really feel like i, I, I really feel like that maybe it was the due diligence of um you know the people that that works in, in within the court system or you know the judge the you know whatever um that was looking into the situation overall and what was going on okay and then this official person okay figuring out what exactly was happening what exactly was going on with this situation here okay
Okay, so let me grab my other deck real quick, guys. Hold on. So I have here family using you for money here, okay? So you could have been teamed up and working with a lot of different people um, um, who've been using you for money, okay? I feel like y'all all were part of some type of scam, okay, to get over in some type of way in order to obtain uh, some type of money, okay? There was a lot of low down and dirty shameful things that took place within this situation here, Spirit is saying, okay? Spirit, what else is going on here? So we have satanic sellouts. Y'all saw your soul here, okay? Y'all are part of some type of secret society or witch coven or satanic cult or occult, okay? Um, there was some type of blood sacrifice that took place, okay? Um, and um, as a result, you were trying to get some type of money off of this, okay? And this situation has been held up in a court of law here. There was some type of jealousy, envy, or intimidation that you had for someone else here, okay? And y'all vigorously worked against someone else to get something to go in your favor here, okay? There was a car, a house, inheritance money here that you all were trying to steal by someone else who is closest to you here, okay? So now you're feeling sadness. Now you're feeling heartbroken. You're feeling down, depression, because um, I, I suppose you didn't get what you wanted. You things didn't go the way that you wanted it to go. You didn't get what you wanted. But guess what? If, um, you, you know, you did not for a moment think about who the hell you were screwing over to try to take this from. Okay, what about them feeling sadness and feeling down and being without, okay? But, um, you know, of course you're in tune with your own feelings, okay? So I feel like we have birth mother betrayal here, okay? Aquarius, you could be the birth mother of someone here. You betrayed a child, okay? You betrayed a child because you're a satanic sellout. You could have sacrificed your own child for the purposes of money here, okay? But whatever was left behind by this person was not rightfully yours, did not go to you here. And this is what you have tried to take. This is what you have tried to uh, take from someone else, actually, to be exact, okay? There was a lot of things, okay, that was done in the dark, Spirit is saying, okay? Okay? There was a lot of competition in this situation as well, okay? A lot of pure, you, you, we have pure evil here, okay? So a lot of individual, that's the reason why we started off with the devil. There was a lot of uh, uh, pure evilness and greed that took place in this situation. And that's the problem here, okay? So we have wickedness in high places, B system 666, okay? Y'all sold your soul. You sold your soul to get the deal. You sold your soul to get the bag. And something then didn't, didn't go um didn't go as expected in a situation, I believe. Okay? Spirit, are there any other messages that I need to share with Aquarius pertaining to the situation? Okay, we have here, you can't trust anybody, okay? Whoever you were teamed up with, working with, whoever is in your family, um, even the people that, that you thought were on your side in your family or something like that, working with you, they're full of deception. Spirit is telling you, you need to watch your back, okay? There's a lot of evil and a lot of wickedness around you, and you may have sacrificed someone in order to get some type of money, but I'm feeling like you've got people around you that's trying to sacrifice you, that's trying to take you out for money as well. Spirit, are there any other messages? Are there any other messages? You, you were dealing with someone who is an informant, okay? They're a snitch, they're a spy, they're an informant for the police or the feds, okay? Yeah, this was an inside job, okay? All this, everything that y'all had going on was an inside job, Spirit is saying, okay? There was a lot of sneaky, creepy things that went on around midnight, too, okay? Um, some mystical things, uh, uh, magic, sorcery, black uh, magic, voodoo, okay? Um, we have message here. You could be receiving some type of message, news, information, or communication. Abundance is in the reverse here, okay? So I feel like it's going to be some disappointing news pertaining to money, okay?
Be very careful. There's going to be some type of house raid as well. Your house could be getting um, bust into or raided or searched for something. Okay, yeah, we have prison jail rats here. Okay, you was dealing with someone who was an informant here. Okay. Y'all had a, you was teamed up with a lot of people. Y'all had a lot of people involved in this crime, um, this little money scheme here, okay? And a lot of people uh, depending on you for money and different things. And somebody, there was betrayal. There was betrayal in the situation. There was betrayal on various different levels. Yeah, somebody... Somebody close to you is a male, uh, is a is a warlock or a male witch, okay? So you may want to be wary of that as well. Um, somebody could be trying to invite you, uh, uh, inviting you to a special occasion or something. I feel like it's a setup, okay? You want to be very careful because somebody is trying to take you out now. Somebody's trying to blood sacrifice you to get the money that they couldn't get out of you um, before. Okay. Okay, guys. Well, I, I, yeah. Spirit is saying, don't, don't lose yourself. Think all is well and become someone's sacrifice. Okay. You've got individuals around you, Aquarius, who is trying to blood sacrifice you the same way that you blood sacrifice your own blood for money. Okay. I feel like this family that you were that was using you for money. Okay. I feel like you were paying people off to help you. With this little scheme that y'all had going on. Okay. Um, and at some point. I feel like either you ran out of money. Or you just stopped giving these greedy bastards some money. Okay. Um, and and um, that's when they decided that they were going to sacrifice you. Okay. So anybody invites you somewhere to a special occasion. To get together. Gathering a party or something like that. Or whatever. Watch your food. Watch your drinks. Somebody is trying to sacrifice you now. Okay. Spirit said, don't lose yourself. Think it's all is well and become someone's sacrifice here. Okay. Spirit also says, stop. No new friends. Okay. These are haters, frenemies, no love for you. They're backstabbers, okay? They obsessed, got obsession issues too, okay? And they don't care about you, okay? Because somebody is now trying to sacrifice you, okay? Yeah, but y'all fucked up a long time ago, Spirit is saying here. They fucked up a long time ago, okay? So be careful how you shake and move, okay? So basically what I'm telling you is your, your once partners in crime are uh, 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 now ready to roll on you and set you up to be sacri be the sacrifice so they can get more money out of you once you're gone, okay? So, guys, I do hope the information that I, pro I provided um, has given you the truth and the clarity that you were seeking pertaining to a situation that you are dealing with. Um, I thank y'all for listening and for watching. If you would be so kind to so please like, share, and subscribe, it would be greatly, greatly appreciated. Um... For those of you who would like to contact me, you could do so at TiffanyZiggler60 at gmail.com or at Tiff.Diamond.36 at gmail.com. You could follow me on Instagram at ShineBrightLikeAdiamond36. <clears throat> and if you are interested in donating to the channel, you can do so through Cash App, which is dollar sign TiffDiamond36, or through PayPal, which is PayPal.me slash at 36Diamond. As always, guys, take care of yourselves, take care of each other, but most of all, take care of your babies. Okay, um, this is a wicked, wicked world that we live in. Okay, there's wickedness in high places and there is evil that is lurking around each and every corner, even in a neighborhood near you. So y'all watch your surroundings, watch the company you keep, watch the surroundings in the company in which your children are in as well. And considering the fact that you never know when someone may betray you, backstab you, try to hurt you or harm you, honey, keep you some protection on you. Y'all stay awake, stay aware, stay vigilant and stay prepared because if you stay ready, you ain't got to get ready, baby. Until the next time, peace, love, and light. Namaste. I am that I am created in the image of God. 
Hello all, it's your girl Tiffany, Madam Lissa's Black Beauty, your poetic psychic Pisces, High Priestess, aka the light that shines like a diamond, also known as your modern day nun, one whom isn't within a coven, a convent, or a covenant. I do thank you all for listening and for watching on tonight. If you would be so kind to please like, share, and subscribe, it would be greatly, greatly appreciated. This is going to be a general reading for the overall collective of any, uh, well, of the sun moon or rising sign of cancer okay so guys this is going to be a relationship read a love read or whatever comes out for you reading okay just depends on the uh, messages that we get okay guys please remember that these messages may apply to your past your present or your future so take the messages that apply leave the ones that do not so without any further ado guys we're going to get into to tonight's messages y'all please excuse uh my current background right now um this is not my working area this is not my desk and this is not in my room this is actually my daughter's working area that's um in like this little um in our in between dining room area between room areas this is where i have my daughter's desk and bookshelf and stuff supplies set up for for school and all kinds of stuff okay so i'm right here right now because it's in between the kitchen and i was cooking her something to eat and so i needed to be close by to get back and run back and forth okay so yeah excuse the girly girly stuff okay and so um i'm at my daughter's desk working right now for the time being okay guys let me set that there. Okay, so let's see what's going on with you, um, Cancer. Okay, Cancer, so let's see what's going on with you, Spirit. Please give us clear and accurate messages for the sun, moon, and rising sign of Cancer. What do we need to know for the sun, moon, and rising sign of Cancer, please? Okay, so we have the caffeinated here, okay? So, um... You could be, there's a, <clears throat> the, first of all, clearly, if you look at the card, this, per, the per, this person likes coffee, okay? <laughs> I'm actually, it's really late. It's too late to be drinking caffeine. I actually just fixed me a cup myself, okay? So I totally get it. <clears throat> Um, but you're a manly man type, okay? You could lift weights. You're a big coffee drinker. You could be a construction worker or a handsy man. You could even be a hunter, okay? Um, you're not, you know, not so much affectionate, okay? You're a beer kind of guy. You're very hardworking. You're a tough Gus. You're an outdoorsman, okay? Um, you could be a bit temperamental even, okay? Um, as well, so I, I definitely feel like we're talking about um, a male cancer here, okay? <clears throat> of course, we have um, the chariot here, okay? So, um, the chariot can speak to many different things. First of all, it talks about movement, okay? It can talk about travel, transportation, vehicles, cars, journeys, relocation. It can speak to a lot of things, okay? So you are moving forward. You're surging forward doing something right now, okay? Um, the chariot also speaks to prote uh, protection, determination, um, uh, friction or even progress even okay but it, it speaks to willpower and guidance as well here okay um big emphasis on new vehicle or transportation here okay so there could be a cancel cancer masculine okay you could have just gotten you a new vehicle okay this could be a vehicle to work in okay but um this could also be a personal vehicle you know you know you might got you a big boy f-150 or something okay like whatever you like okay so let's see what else is going on with this cancer spirit this is supposed to be relationship love read okay but um <clears throat> we have the high priestess here okay so um whomever you are um cancer you could belong to some type of, um, you know, he man, woman hating club. <laughs> no, I'm just playing. Um, but you could belong to some type of boys club, okay? Definitely is what I'm feeling here, okay? Something like a secret society. So I may be speaking to a mason here, okay? 
Um, you have some type of occultic knowledge, okay? You are of some type of higher power. You could be an authority or an elite, okay? Um, it speaks to information, psychic intuition, third eye here, even the divine secrets and hidden things, okay? So that's what's going on, honey, with cancer. Let's get some further clarification, though, and see, you know, what, what's the deal? <clears throat> Spirit, please clarify for us this, um, looks like we're dealing with a cancer masculine here. Okay. Uh -uh. You definitely get the money. Okay. You definitely get money. This is too many cards that flipped over here, okay? So, I'm just going to take the first one. We have the eight of cops here, okay? So, this speaks to change, okay? There's there's some type of change, okay, that has come in or uh, has come about for this masculine um, cancer, okay? We have your energy here of the moon. You could be being secretive about this change, okay? Maybe you making a change behind someone's back. Okay, um, maybe you could be trying to get away from someone here. We got the five of ones at the bottom of the deck, honey. Okay, so you could be a little player player from the Himalayas. Okay, there's a lot of competition. You might have a lot of women after you, um, masculine cancer. Okay, you riding around and you getting it, huh? Okay, so we gonna see. So you, you definitely, um... You trying to make a change, but you're doing so in secret here, okay? But I feel this just fell out with the four of swords here. So you're trying to recover or heal from some type of situation that you have been dealing with in, 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 in some type of way, shape, form, or fashion here, okay? So you could have gone through some type of um, relationship issues, okay? Yeah. You you may have went through some type of relationship issues. Mm-hmm. That's giving you the motivation and determination to make a change, okay? To get the hell away from somebody or something, okay? So, Spirit, what else is going on with this? Because I, what I see here is a cancer male who is getting the hell out of Dodge, and you're doing so in secret, okay? I feel like, yeah, yeah, you're getting up out of a marriage. You're getting up out of a marriage, a toxic marriage is what I feel like, okay? You're doing so in secret, Okay, you got a family with someone, you're in a marriage with someone, but you're not happy, you're not fulfilled, you're not satisfied, okay, um, your needs are not being met, but you are hardworking as a man, okay, because um, <clears throat> I've already said that you're hardworking, okay, I feel like you're the breadwinner, okay, I feel like, you know what I'm saying, you doing everything that needs to be done, or whatever, but whomever you married to or in a relationship with, yeah, look. All they do is put burdens on you. Burden after burden. Problematic after uh, situation. Problem after problem. Burden after burden. Situation after situation. Hardship after hardship. And everything is on your damn back. Okay? All ten of them damn wands is on your back. Okay? But whoever you with, you see that, 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 that chest full of money right there? Whoever you with, all they care about is that damn money. And you see how it's sitting over the side? This is how you know whoever you dealing with. This, this is what they care about. You bringing in all the money. But all the ones, all the burdens, all the hardships, all the problems on your damn back. Mm -mm. And so you getting about, mm -mm. Mm -mm. cancer masculine said, get back, get back. You don't know me like that. Okay? Um, cancer masculine getting the hell on down. Yeah. <clears throat> and you taking your money with you. Okay? Yeah, I'm so masculine getting the hell on down and you taking your money with you with that two, uh, uh, with that ten of pentacles at the bottom of the deck, okay? Because look who's right here, okay? The two of uh, cups here. Somebody is in a partnership, in a relationship with you only for money here, okay? You have decided to, you, you, you made a decision, okay? This could even be a, um, some type of legal decision to, um, like a divorce or something here, okay? To, um... Maybe you having to split, um, you know, like this could be like child support or spousal support or whatever, but you like, forget it. I just want out. Okay. You're tired of being in mental conflict over the situation. You're tired of all the gossip, the rumors and shit. Okay. Some type of fast communication is coming through, uh, to you. Okay. Um, from someone who has made a decision, you definitely dealing with a fire sign. 
you dealing with your baby mama, your wife uh, is a fire sign. Cancer masculine. That's who you're dealing with. Yeah, that's who you're dealing with. Okay, Spirit, please give us uh, clear and accurate messages for this Cancer Masculine here. Cancer Feminines, I do apologize. <clears throat> I do apologize, but it seems like this energy is for a, a Cancer Masculine, okay? Specifically, okay? Because that has literally what has come out here, okay? So maybe we'll get something later for you Feminines who are Cancers, okay? But this seems like... Um, this is obviously a masculine's reading, okay? Yeah, you you are um you want this change in your life because you're married to a false person who's wearing a mask, okay? This person is a liar, a cheater, deceiver, they're a manipulator, they're a con artist, they're with you for the money, they're a gold digger, okay? <clears throat> and I feel like you have come to the realization of that, okay? That this person is just using you for uh, for the purposes of money. Yeah. This person is just using you for the purposes of money here, okay? And this is the reason why you want a change. Yeah, look at this. You want a change. We got a message here, okay? So I feel like you snuck, <laughs> you snuck off masculine cancer. Did you sneak off in the middle of the night? There's a cancer masculine who snuck off in the middle of the night, okay? And this false person that you married to has been blowing your phone up ever since, honey. They sending you all kind of messages, uh, news, information, communication, honey. Okay, but you like, forget it. I need to recover. I need to heal from this supposed privileged lady here, which I feel like this privileged lady is only privileged because of you. Okay? You feel like you need to recover. You need to heal from this situation. You're a mature man. You don't have time for this, Okay? You done been there, done that, moved on, honey. When you was young, you played games, you did what you had to do, honey. You were hard working. You still working hard as a mature man in this marriage here, okay? But but there's a mature um, masculine cancer who feels like he needs to recover or heal from shit that he went through with this privileged lady here, okay? I feel like this man had to sneak off in the middle of the night. This is crazy. There could be some divorce proceedings going on. Okay. Masculine, are you a wealthy? Are you wealthy? I, I, get, I, I feel like you're stable and secure. I keep seeing a wealthy man. Yeah, we were journey here. Dude, dude, you got tired of these burdens, honey. You got tired of these burdens. And I feel like um, you decide to... You, this this mature man, this masculine cancer, you left in the middle of the night. You left in the middle of the night. Yeah. You left this family behind. You left this family behind. Yeah. You left this marriage in behind because you were in despair. Okay. Now y'all could be going through some type of um, divorce. You see how the man and the woman standing before the judge here? Y'all could be going through some type of divorce. This is what's ha that's what's happening. There's a masculine cancer who is going through a divorce. You could be in concern about this, okay? Because I feel like whoever you were married to is working hard to try to uh, take you for every damn dime you got, take you for everything you got. Um, masculine cancer. This is crazy. This is crazy. Spirit, please give us a, yeah. See, you want change. You was dealing with someone younger than you with this young woman card here. You want this change because and this is the reason why this person is a false person. You was married to someone younger than you. But this person was wearing a mask. You, you even married this person. You have a child with this person. Okay? And you want to bring about some type of change. Spirit, clarify the moon. Spirit, clarify the moon and message. Moon and message. Hold on, guys. We had a card that fell. Okay. 
so we have Psy here. This person, this, 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 this person that you married to sent you some type of messages here, okay? And uh, you, 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 you sighed after you got these messages, okay? Or you could have, you could have, you could have sent these messages out to this person and had them sighing here, okay? Maybe when these messages went out, this person knew for real that you were done, okay? Spirit, clarify this four swords and privileged lady. Four of swords, privileged lady. Four of Swords, Privileged Lady, please. So this was your lover, but like, uh, you feel like you need to, to, to heal from this person or heal from the situation, okay? I feel like you... You need a separation. You need to, you know, a part or something. Because you got two fours back to back, four, four, okay? You got the four of swords with the four of wands here, okay? So you're definitely trying to recover, trying to heal from a marriage, okay? That, that you were in, okay? Was there a death? Was there? Hold up, guys. Something sent you under over the edge here. For so this is the widower card here. Somebody could have passed away in this situation. Yeah, there was a death. You were dealing with a light of burdens and you felt like you needed to get away. I feel like this could have been a death in the family because for some reason, I feel like whomever you're married to, somebody died. Did your wife die or was it another family member? But whatever these hardships and burdens here... You got the hell away. You took a trip. You took a journey. You decided to travel. You decided to pack up your shit and move and leave, okay? Because a lot of burdens was being put on you because of somebody's death here, okay? We did see the child card come up, okay? Was this a death of a, a, a child? We got gift, letter, falseness, sorrow at the bottom of the deck, old woman, surprise, shock, okay? This could have been, this could have been, could have been a mother that passed away or something, you were dealing with a lot, though. Whatever it is, you were dealing with a lot with your family um, and, and, and shit that had to do with money and all kinds of things. And, and whoever this cancer male is, you just had enough. And you just, just said, you know what? I'm leaving. Yeah, because you were sleeping with the enemy. We got sleeping with the enemy here. So this had to be somebody else within your family. Okay? That passed away. You felt like you were sleeping with the enemy. This person is a Jezebel sexual demon here, okay? This person that you were married to has, you know, obsession issues, definitely a fire sign, okay? Yeah, this person that you married to, didn't I say she was a money-hungry gold digger? I'm telling you, I could feel it. We got codependent lover here. Co you got codependent lovers, families, and friends around you here, okay? what else is going on? Y'all were, yeah, y'all were stuck staying together for the sake of the kids. But you were sleeping with the enemy. You were sleeping with the enemy. Now this old Jezebel sexual demon sending you these messages and like, oh no baby, come back please, don't leave please. I don't want to be a player no more. Somebody don't want to be a player no more. This sitting here with Jezebel sexual demon here, okay? But this person got a lot of obsession and a lot of temptations, okay, that they dealing with, okay? And you just got tired of it. You got tired of it because you know this old money hungry gold digger that you've been married to is a trickster. Spirit is saying, and it... <laughs> They were sneaking and creeping on you, but had the audacity to put love spells to block your love life with any damn body else, okay? This person was even doing witchcraft and shit on you, okay? Something about y'all's marriage was fraudulent, okay? Or this person was just fraudulent, them, they damn self, okay? Um, spirit is saying stay away from this psycho, okay? Something is definitely, um, <clears throat> excuse me, psychopathic about this person, Okay, this person is open-minded sexually here. Okay, so you could have been married to somebody who was bisexual or or something like that. 
Okay. Yeah, this person, this person that you was married to has been stalking you. They follow you, they watch you, they're in the shadows, they harass you, they do things to invade and violate your privacy and different things, okay? And you had to get away from all of this. You had to get away from all of these burdens, okay? That's why I feel like, um, I feel like, <laughs> this masculine cancer like snuck off in the middle of the night or some shit but somebody did pass away in your family this could have been your mother or somebody passed away okay somebody passed away and that was like your breaking point here okay we have no love here heartbreaker cheater here okay breakup lonely lost feelings okay so this is what you're feeling in this situation cancer Cancer masculine, okay? Um, cancer females, you could be going through some type of remnants of this, okay? But maybe not exactly the same thing. So if you're listening, listening, cancer female, these messages can assist you or guide you as well, okay? Yeah, somebody definitely was with you only for your money. This is crazy. Yeah, somebody, somebody, somebody like the fact that you you dress nice, you smell good, you feel good, you look good, or whatever. But it some seems like somebody was was just using you. This is sad. Whoever you was hooked up with was going to some type of dark parties. Sometimes some type of dark parties. There was this. There was a lot of low down and dirty, shameful things that was going on. Okay, somebody that you dealt with was is a is a satanic sellout as well. So you might not have even been aware of that. Okay, someone's jealous, envious, and intimidated by you as well. Okay. It's like they, they want to do what they want to do, but they want to control you too, okay? So you definitely experience some type of family disloyalty and betrayal, jealousy, envy, and hatred, okay? Something could have been stolen from you, Cancer. Spirits say beware of the snakes coming into your life to try to harm you or fool you. These bastards are cowards, Spirit is saying. Yeah, this person you're dealing with is the devil in disguise, okay? Yeah, spirits say if it seems too good to be true, then it probably is, okay? Yeah, your family made attempts to harm you, spirit is saying, cancer. This is crazy. Somebody is a crossover spirit. Somebody definitely crossed over. I'm picking up on somebody who passed away, Okay. These people even tried to put a hit out on you to have you killed and covered their and, and to try to cover their tracks, okay? And you had to get on down. You had to get away from the yeah, we got birth mother betrayal here, okay? Um I feel like your mother could have passed away. If it wasn't a wife, it could have been a mother. Could have been if there's somebody in your family passed away. Somebody close to you. And I feel like this was your breaking point. This is when, like, you was just like, you know what? I'm not dealing with this shit no more. And decided to take off and decided to leave or something, okay? Yeah, your family using you for money. Left out in the cold. They left you out in the cold. Cancer? They spreading lies. They spreaded lies about you, Okay? People only wanted to be around you or with you for your stability, especially this person you was in a relationship with, okay? Whoever this wife you had or whatever codependent has family, lovers, friends that you had, um, they only wanted you because you were balanced, because you could budget, because you had security, because you were grounded, because you had savings, because you had stability, okay? Now somebody is sitting up with the blues, could be feeling pain, hurt, heartache over a situation, loss, misery over a situation. Spirit, are there any other messages for this cancer? Somebody, somebody is under demonic possession. 
Okay. So um, I thank you all, Cancers, for listening and for watching. If you would be so kind to so please like, share, and subscribe, it would be greatly, greatly appreciated. Um, like I said, uh, Cancer Femmes, this seems like this was overall a message for the Cancer Masculines. Okay. So I do apologize. Um, if at a later time I do another reading, I would specifically do one for the feminine since this seems like the majority of the energy uh, we got here was for this masculine, okay? Yeah. That was definitely, you're definitely dealing with some type of death. Somebody in your family died. This false person is sending you messages, okay? This privileged lady here. But you left. You decided to leave a situation. You decided to get away from a, a toxic family situation. Okay. Yeah. And that's the reason why we have here this hardworking man here who decided to move. You went on the move. And I feel like you did so in secret. You did so without behind people's back without anybody's knowing or something, okay? Is the energy that I'm feeling. So thank y'all for listening. Thank y'all for watching. If you would be so kind, so please like, share, and subscribe. It would be greatly, greatly appreciated. You can contact me at TiffanyZiegler60 at gmail.com or at Tiff.Diamond.36 at gmail.com. You can follow me on Instagram at ShineBrightLikeAdiamond36. And if you are interested in donating to the channel, you can do so through Cash App, which is dollar sign TiffDiamond36, or through PayPal, which is PayPal.me slash at 36 diamonds. As always, guys, take care of yourselves, take care of each other, but most of all, take care of your babies. Remember, this is a wicked wicked world that we live in there is wickedness in high places and there is evil that is lurking around each and every corner even in a neighborhood near you so y'all watch your surroundings watch the company you keep watch the surroundings and the company in which your children are in as well and considering the fact that you never know when someone may betray you backstab you try to hurt you or harm you honey keep you some protection on you y'all stay awake stay aware stay vigilant and stay prepared because if you stay ready you don't have to get ready baby until the next time peace love and light namaste I am that I am created in the image of God.